nice hat, by the way. And joining us out here in a different kind of a hat, Paulie Dangerously from ECW. Tell us what we're going to see here in this match. With what Sabu. you're going to see is the most suicidal, the most homicidal, the most genocidal athlete that's ever appeared, not just on Raw's War, but also in extreme championship wrestling. The Lord of the Hardcores himself, Sabu. All right. How's that? Not bad, huh? That remains to be seen. Sabu coming by his manager, Bill Alfonso. Of course, many fans remember Bill Alfonso as a former referee and a, and a pretty good referee in this day, as a matter of fact. But right now, he is managing Sabu. And what is uh, Sabu's relationship with a man that we are familiar with, Paul E., Mr. Monday Night? Well, who is Sabu? Sabu is the nephew of the original Sheik. And Sabu competed in Japan and in India. And as you will see by the footage that I so graciously brought to you, Sabu is probably the most dangerous athlete on the face of the planet today. And Sabu came to ECW on October 1st, 1993, main event on our first pay-per-view against Taz, and will be on August 17th, Hardcore Heaven 97, against the Sandman on our second pay-per-view. This man defies any description that you can label him with. Why is his body so scarred, Paul? What is, what's caused that he's got scars all over himself? This man has paid a price that very few, if any, would be willing to pay. He dives in the barbed wire. He is the Lord of the Hardcores. And although I don't personally agree with the man, I used to manage him myself. He is Rob Van Dam's partner, but he is without question. Watch this. Great leverage coming off the ropes. Spinning heel kick, and out goes Flash Funk. They have met before, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, look at this. They've met before in the ECW arena, and now Sabu oh. takes it. Somersault plucked to by Sabu. I tell you what, you talk about suicidal. That's a, the best description of this athlete I think you can give him. Yeah. Uh, he's going for the now, you know. Eric Bischoff can tell you that the public enemy invented the tables on national TV, but I can tell you as the man that discovered the public enemy, they stole the entire deal with the tables from that man, Sabu, the originator of the broken table. And tonight on Raw, he is going to put Flash Funk through a table, I personally guarantee it. Sabu from ECW, along with Flash Funk, getting it on live, ladies and gentlemen, from Detroit, Michigan. A little bit later on, live. Uh oh. Whoa, what a maneuver that was. He won't get up from that one. Well, I guess he does. Live later on, The Undertaker teaming up with the man they call Vader to square off against the new nation of domination. All that and a great deal more coming up. But right now, Sabu with the advantage. And Sabu, look at this. What a hurricane rana! A springboard hurricane rana by Sabu! Is that enough? Nope. And Flash Funk kicks out. Flash Funk is no spring chicken. This is one unbelievable ass. Oh. And he is going to be on the top of his game tonight. Because he's in there with a man that he knows will take it to the extreme. Here's another look at it. You know, Bill Alfonso was a referee for you for a long time. We adopted him from the Betty Ford Clinic. Really? Really? That's nice to know. He graduated with honors twice. Oh, there you go. He's very proud of it, as a matter of fact. Good be. Anyone who graduates from there should be proud. Many longtime fans certainly remember the antics, the unpredictability, the danger perpetrated by the original Sheik. Sabu is the original Sheik's nephew. And look at this. What? Oh. Oh, oh. oh what a close line. Bill Alfonso with that ubiquitous whistle. Ubiquitous. And oh yeah! Great kick there, great martial arts kick by Flash. Look out, Flash coming to town! Tremendous crossbody over the top by Flash. You're seeing two athletes live here in Detroit. Turn it out, turn it on. So you ought to turn it up. And you're seeing your man get brought to the extreme. You're seeing a whole new Flash Funk tonight because he knows he's in there with a dangerous, dangerous competitor. And you're welcome for bringing a new fire out of Flash Funk tonight. That was a very tactical move there. A drop kick right to the knee, right to the, uh, the knee there by uh, Sabu. Good move. 
by this unorthodox competitor. Oh, he's not just suicidal, homicidal, and genocidal. He is a capable, Whoa. capable athlete, and he knows what he's doing in the ring. Whoa. Just ask Kaz, who has taken all the way to the limit and barely legal to pay per view. Watch this. From the top and down. Little Roddy High, but nonetheless, two in. Oh! Sabu. Just barely able to squeeze out. You see what the ECW wrestlers can do for the World Wrestling Federation? We're bringing out a whole new flash funk for you tonight. And I hope you understand what the World Wrestling Federation can do for you. Oh! Hey, Sorry, that's why you see me here. That's why you don't see me on Nitro. That's why I brought ECW wrestlers right to Raw. Oh, look at that maneuver. Great move. A great move. I don't knock what you guys offer us. I appreciate it very much. And we appreciate it very much. So everybody, everybody appreciates everybody, but I don't know who's going to appreciate this table. The thing get out of hand sometimes with your ECW or performance. But that's the way the Raw's war. This is not a walk through the park. This is not a picnic. Okay. This is what it's supposed to be. Oh, no. Oh. And she knows our free cut tables like you'll see elsewhere. It may be academic, but both men have been counted out. He's gonna bust that table, I, I promise you. He's academic. gonna bust it if it kills him. Oh, oh, yeah. no. I think it killed him. So what? If not, that's flat. extreme. That's hardcore. That's why we do pay-per-views. We're too extreme for Monday night. We're too extreme for Raw. I warned you about this. You should listen to me sometime. Move on, ladies and gentlemen. Triple threat.